Hi all, welcome to this video. So in this video, we will see how to connect our PostgreSQL with StreamBit. Uh, I just uploaded two video like how can install PostgreSQL and then even I uploaded one video regarding how to uh, upload DVD rental data set on PostgreSQL. So if you don't know about this, just go last two video and watch this in this particular series and then come to this video because that is prerequisite for this class. So in last video, I already completed how can launch a PostgreSQL. If you remember from the last video, it looks like this. So here you can see in our PostgreSQL, we have a dbt rental data we uploaded in last video. And if you go into tables, we have different different tables. And here if you see select star dot city star from city you will get the city data basically i already did this in last video now let's see how can connect this postgresql with our stream read. here you can see i just opened this vs code let's let's walk through line by line for understanding let me open this see here uh, at streamlit page there is a page how to connect streamlit to postgresql see i am using this particular uh, blog and actually follow the same blog uh, in my video so let's see let's see first we need host always remember postgresql like if we install as a local host and port is by default port is 5432 db name what is db name database name that is basically from dashboards uh, uh, from postgresql and we provided that db name is dvd rental data name user is postgres and password if, uh, if you go into my last video i already told you when you install first time post, uh, postgresql in your laptop or anywhere it will ask for password that is the password it is asking so what you have to do make a first a folder dot distribute and then make a file this file success dot tml and paste this so let me show how i did this just go to vs code here you can see i make one folder so how can make a folder if you click on at here and you can make a folder so i get it folder from from there the folder name is dot streamlit in this folder i created one file here you can go and create the file so i created that file the name is secret.tml this is the file and i just copy there and paste it here host localhost port your db name dvd rental user is always remember postgres password in my case it is one two three four five maybe in your case it depends like what you provided uh, when you installing postgres sql so this is the first thing which is needed if you want to connect your PostgreSQL with Streamlit. I think you guys are able to do it till here. It's very simple actually. Just create one folder. That folder name is dot streamlit. Create one file inside the folder. File name is secret.tml. You can give any name, but I just give this name I, because I follow the same blog. You can give any name, but uh, uh, the, dot tml will be there. Now this is the host port dbd uh, db name user and password now let's go for one file connect other file outside this folder like normal folder just outside this dot streamlit so i created one file and i put file name is pg admin underscore connect dot py you can give any name because this is totally depends on you but i will provide both uh, file in description in this video don't worry see you have to install one thing that is this one py psy copg2 this is basically postgresql connector okay so let's let's install it how can you install it remember one thing i always told you whenever you want to install first go to search write pip here if you write pip here you'll find this pip find location of this open file location copy this location then go to search write cmd command from go to this cd means change directory go to that directory and now paste this pip install this particular just paste here 
to paste it, it will install. See, in my case, requirement already satisfied because I already installed. If you don't have, just install it. It will take hardly maybe one or two minutes. Now, this is the, you have to install. Now, everything is okay. So, I import Streamlit as ST. Then this one, I we already installed it. And then I imported Pandas because I want to convert my query output into Panda data frame. See this, I'm making connector here. So you can make any function name. I make like, I just follow the same, uh, you know, uh, blocks. I write the same name, diff init connector. And then if you call this, this is return this. What is return? This uh, connector dot connect. See, ht dot secret. This is the file name. And file name, we have a Postgres. In Postgres, we have all the data. So we take that one, right? So we pass this to connector and it will automatically connect with our PostgreSQL. Here we open the PostgreSQL. So I want to connect this PostgreSQL database with my this particular streamlit uh, file. Okay. So DB name I provided uh, um, uh, DVD rentals. That's why it will take this DB name. If you have different different DB name, so it will not connect all, it will connect that particular what you are providing. I am providing DVD rental, so it will connect through DVD rental. So this is connector. Now let's write con is equal to init dot connector, so it will connect. I want to make a function per run a query. So I write diff run query. I am passing the query. So whatever you write a query, it will pass here. Then I use this connector, what we make con. So con is uh, with con dot concern as core. So you can give any name, not, no problem. And then in qr dot execute query, what we query are passing in this function, it will execute and then we are fetching the data and returning that. But here you can ask why I write at the rate st dot experimental memo. See, if you in a stream lead, if you, uh, if you, you know, you know, click anywhere, maybe you have a, uh, maybe you have some select box, click box in you know in your dashboard. If you check it now, what happened? Whole streamlit page will rerun again. But suppose you want some function will not rerun, okay? Until unless you change the value. So that time you can write here, like here I'm writing experimental memo. So what happened actually? If you don't change your query, this function will not call. Whenever it will rerun, if you don't change your query, it will not rerun. But here we are writing TTL is equal to 600. It means it's a, actually uh, if you divide by system 10, 10 minute, it's second only. So it means automatically it will rerun after 10 minutes. That's why here you write s 2 memo to only rerun when query change or after 10 minutes. Because here we are giving 10 minutes. Okay. Now I am writing one query. So see, I am writing uh, uh, run query. I am giving one query. This is a variable actually. Don't worry. This is a function only, the same function. So I am giving this uh, uh, query is select star from city limit twenty. So this table is already there. If you go now, if you just go there in uh, PG admin, here you can see in in this particular DVD rental data set in table we have city. So I am I am just uh, calling this select star from city and taking only 20 data, converting into data frame and then giving the columns name because here it will not take columns. I am, I am giving the column names because I already knew the columns name. So I am giving column name CD ID, CT country ID, last update and then I am printing that data. So st dot table data. Let me rerun. Let 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 let's rerun this file. Extremely run pg admin connect dot py. Let me hit this. See so this, you are able to hit this, run it. Let's do this, check it. Here we are able to find the data. Here we are able to get the data. City ID, cities, country ID, and last of it. Even if you want to check, you can check here also in PostgreSQL. City ID, CT, country ID, and last update, same data we got it here, right? Same data we are getting here also. So, the thing is, in this way, we can connect our database to Streamlit. And suppose we already covered how can you can create a dashboard. So, if you want to make a dashboard, you want to make anything in Streamlit, you can directly connect with uh, dash, uh, database and you can make uh, here, you can analyze your data and make a dashboard also. Okay, so in this way we can do that. 
I will upload uh, uh, both uh, the uh, files in description. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this.